I'm Christine from the Low Carb Planner and today we are going to bake a yummy low carb pizza. There are many ways to serve a low carb pizza but today we'll take tuna. I've been waiting to try to making a pizza with a tuna crust ever since I came across the idea on Pinterest. When we've launched our website I baked one pizza low carb and one regular pizza for my friends. Guess which one they really love. Okay, what you need is 200 grams of shredded cheese, two cans of tuna, which is about 360 grams, salt and pepper, and of course, two eggs. Let's begin. I mean, what's not to like about a tuna crust for a pizza? I actually got a chance to try a tuna crust a couple months ago, but I ran into a problem. The crust stuck so badly to the parchment paper that I couldn't get it off. After a few hours of checking through comments on various pizza crust recipes, the secret seems to be that you need to squeeze out as much of liquid as possible before baking. Okay, here we go. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Like I said, we need to get rid of the liquids from the tuna. So use a towel, also use some paper towels, and now just take your tuna and put it on top. So... Feeling like Santa, tuna Santa. So now we have to squeeze it. Use your girl or man power. So that looks good to me. We just put that aside. Just open it up. Yeah, looks pretty dry now. Okay, just put that aside for a minute. And then take the eggs. Two eggs. Now we're going to whisk the eggs. Okay, we will use now some salt and pepper. Just use some sea salt. It should be enough. And some pepper. Okay, so now we're going to add a tuna. Yeah, it's really dry, it's really good, so we get an awesome crust. Believe me. And add the cheese. You can mix it up by hand, but I will take the fork. Okay, and now we're going to mix it until everything is well combined. Okay, now take your baking pan with a baking sheet and just place your dough on top. Okay, I will take my hands now and just press the dough because I love a thin crust so we get a bigger pizza. So now we're going to bake the crust for 30 to 35 minutes. Our crust is now ready and now comes the creative part. We're going to prepare two different kinds of pizza, a fresh one and a second time baked ones. Number one will be a regular salami cheese pizza and number two will be a meatball chili pistachio pizza. Okay, let's start. We got our prepared tuna dough and now we're putting some marinara on top. I already prepared it. That's fresh from the freezer. It's still kind of hard but it's, you don't have to worry about that because we're going to bake it. So just place your not that hard marinara on top and spread it. So this is going to be a really moisty pizza. So then we take some salami can take some ham if you want to or if you're a vegetarian and just take some vegetables like paprikas. Ok, 
carrots, whatever you want, or just make just only a cheese pizza with four different types of cheese. As I said before, it's the creative part. Okay, and now just top the cheese. Okay, just took some shredded cheese. You can take also some melted cheese or whatever you want. It's up to you. But I prefer that. This one is mozzarella. It's a pretty good one. I really like it. I also use it for the crust. What I also love is on top of the cheese are mushrooms. Okay. Now we're going to bake it until the cheese is fully melted, about for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, and now we're going to prepare the fresh pizza. This means the dough is already, the crust is already baked, and now we're just putting all fresh ingredients which don't really have to be pre baked or baked again. Okay, let's begin. Okay, you can place your meatballs on top, but I think I will just slice them because it will be hard to eat. You can put some aside so it looks nicer for serving, but it should be eatable. Okay. Okay, the meatballs, I have, have to make them in the oven, in the oven <laughs> but the rest will be really fresh. So, if you have some rocola, take some rocola and place that also there. Then you get some other taste, a little bit nutty taste. But we'll have a spicy meatball pizza. Okay. I think that should be enough. We get a few more leftovers. Okay, then take some fresh tomatoes. Put them there. Okay. Okay, this is a special vinegar recipe. It's from my mother. Um, yeah, Filipinos love vinegar and they just put um, chilies, red peppers into vinegar, also garlic and onions, but we will just take only the chilies. Maybe a few drops of the vinegar, but not that too much. Okay, so also we'll cut that because they're really, really spicy. And I know my boyfriend loves to eat really spicy. I eat sometimes spicy, <laughs> but not that much. Okay, spread it because we don't only want one chili spot and make sure that you wash your hands after that because I love to touch my face all the time and I think I will burn so yeah okay take some mushrooms if you want to oh, that looks really really well and the pistachios Can't wait to eat that. Okay, so I got here my special sauce, which is made of mayo and mustard. It's a special mustard from the U.S. It has no sugar, so it's super awesome for carb-free or for low-carb food. And just added some a little bit of that vinegar, that spicy vinegar. If you don't want that thick sauce, you can just put some more vinegar, or water, or milk, whatever and then just stir it. But I will just put that on top just to refine. You just can take the ball, put it on a plate. Someone wants more of that. And we're done. I hope you liked our new recipe, tuna pizza. I hope you really enjoyed it. You will try it out. You can leave me some comments below, Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus, wherever you want, you can reach me. Have a good time. See you. Bye.